Alright guys, Ewan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about the British Grand Prix 2019, of course, upcoming in like 7 days or so. We're gonna do a little review, see who's gonna compete and who's not gonna compete, so on and so forth, and let's go. The very first thing that you need to know about this show is that it is a Mr. Olympia qualifier. It hasn't been around for some time, and now it's back, and now it's Olympia qualifier, so that means it's one of the bigger shows. On this banner right here, you can see that it is happening on 30th June, that MC is going to be Bob Chicarillo, who is the MC of the Mr. Olympia and all the major shows. And then you have three competitors right here on, on this banner, but I'm not sure if all of them are actually doing it. I'm pretty sure James Hollingshead is not doing it. The guy in the middle, Samson Dauda, he is doing it. He's doing it for sure. And there is this little video that he's talking about uh, Nathan Diasha, saying that he's gonna beat Nathan Diasha. So I'm gonna talk about that, about Nathan Diasha and James Collins a little bit later. And you also have the guy on the left. His name is Mark Hector, and I haven't seen any posts on his Instagram account saying that he's gonna compete at this show. So maybe when they made this banner, they chose a couple of bodybuilders who are British and who are very good bodybuilders. So they just chose them. I'm not sure if Mark Hector is competing. Uh, I don't think James is competing, probably not, and uh, Samson is competing, for sure. Nathan is definitely the favorite to win this show, and if he wins it, I mean, after he wins it, he's gonna qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Will he be able to travel outside of his country because of that law problems? I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna win this show. He's looking peeled, he's looking super, super freaky dry. I mean, look at that stomach. His skin looks paper thin, and he always comes full, so we're gonna see a very good Nathan Diash at this British Grand Prix. However, I don't think he will be much bigger than he was last year, I don't think he made any kind of changes in terms of mass, but obviously he's bringing great conditioning, and given the fact that he's always full, it will be a crazy combination, and uh, the chances of anybody else beating him are very slim, so he's gonna probably take this competition. The only guy who could actually beat him, who would beat Nathan Diasha, is Luke Sando. And he will probably beat him if Luke would be on. But Luke is not competing. Luke is not competing at this British Grand Prix. He has 16 points for Mr. Olympia. So he's in the top 3 of Olympia qualified competitors with points. I just heard from Nick Strand and Power that Cedric McMillan may not even show up at the Mr. Olympia. So that's the word on the street. And he's also in that top three. So you have Akeem Williams with 26 points, I believe. And then you have Cedric McMillan and Luke both having 16 points. So if anybody else, you know, gathers more points than Luke, Luke will be out and he's not going to compete at the Mr. Olympia. But that's probably not going to happen. There is only a handful of shows left. And Cedric is also probably out if we're going to trust Nick Strength and Power. So yeah, Luke is probably going to be at the Mr. Olympia qualified with points, and uh, he's not gonna compete at the British Grand Prix, which sucks, really, I mean, it would be great if we had the best British bodybuilders all competing at their own show, that would be awesome, if we had Nathan Diasha, Luke Sando, and for example, James Hollingshead, who is also skipping this show, James did not qualify for the Mr. Olympia, of course, he did not even get enough points, I think he has maybe like three points, it was a great competitive season for him, don't get me wrong, he showed an amazing package, he made a lot of improvements this year, but he is not gonna be at the Mr. Olympia and his competitive season is over. He is now a few weeks or a month deep into the off-season, he is eating tasty food, he enjoys life, so, you know, he is enjoying it, he is happy, but we're not gonna see him, one of the best British bodybuilders at the British Grand Prix, which I don't like, it sucks. So we're gonna have Nathan Diasha, as I already said, and a bunch of other guys who are not really a threat to win this show. But here is the list of the competitors who actually won this show before. But as far as I read, if I understood this correctly, it used to be called the Grand Prix of England instead of British Grand Prix. And while it was called that way, you can see these competitors here who won it. Some very, very big names. Um, you can see that Dorian Yates won it multiple times, who is the best British bodybuilder of all time and one of the greatest Mr. Olympias ever. You can also see Mr. Olympia Jay Cutler, Mr. Olympia Ronnie Coleman, there is also Lila Brada, Kevin Levroni, and many, many popular bodybuilders 
So it was a big show if all of these guys showed up and competed. But then later you had it by the name of British Grand Prix. And there were guys like Sean Roden who were competing there. Uh, Flex Lewis won the lightweight division multiple times. But for some reason there was no British Grand Prix. At least it wasn't a Mr. Olympia qualifier for a few years. And now it's back. Now it is. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this show turns out to be. But yeah, unfortunately we're not going to see Luke Sandow. We're not going to see James Hollingshead, the biggest name here. And in all likeliness the, the winner will be Nathan Diasha. So that means Nathan will be qualified for the Mr. Olympia. We can already pretty much say that. Uh, will he show up at the Mr. Olympia? That's the question. Does he have the ability because of the law problems? We don't know that, but time will show. Anyways, this is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it. And if you have any more information about this show, for example, why is it an Olympia qualifier only now? Why wasn't it Mr. Olympia qualifier before? And was it really called the Grand Prix of England before? What is the thing with that? Tell me any information that you know. Uh, and don't forget to like the video again and to subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.